Today I'm going to attempt to break the world record for the Olympic distance triathlon and for every one minute I'm off I will be donating five dollars to feed those impacted by Hurricane Ian. Plus all ads sense this video will be going to the charity as well. Oh yeah with zero training aside from my run streak. 1500 meter swim, 40 kilometer bike, finishing off a 10 kilometer run with a world record of one hour and 58 minutes. Can I even say I'm doing a triathlon if I don't have a carb load the night before? Time to carb load. It hasn't really hit me they have to do a triathlon tomorrow with no training. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> For charity! Nothing says I'm about to do a swimming event like a bagel with peanut butter and electrolytes. I was a competitive swimmer for 10 years. I'm a runner now. Hate biking. How you survive with no training? <laughs> electrolytes, carbs, game plan. Oh no, I'm so nervous. Why did I do this? Because there's going to be so much swearing. YouTube, don't demonetize this. It's for charity. YouTube demonetizes this. This is the worst sign they could possibly have. A man over there just grabbed a crab. No. If you're watching the new Game of Thrones, I now have an irrational fear of crabs. No and what, a walk here, boom, man holding crab. Sorry, I'm so nervous, it's gonna be so cold. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I don't really want to show my feet on the internet for free. Okay, I gotta get back out. I lost some time. It's for the kids. It's for the money, right? <laughs> Professional triathletes have it down to a system, their transition. Good job! And I would run with just the swimsuit, but it's the wrong size, so there'd be so much chafing. <sighs> My time's a little slower than I would have liked. Can't flash the camera. Once again, I'm not getting paid enough for that. Okay. Also, losing so much time. <sighs> Insert Zoolander. <laughs> God, if you don't give me a thumbs up for that, come on, please. <laughs> Hurry back to bed. It's like four minutes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I just realized I don't know how to pace myself. I lost my AirPod. Oh no! Where is it? Ah! On the seawall, this place you have to walk your bike. Losing a bit of time. Halfway. God, this wind. I just remembered, I don't know what gears are easier. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making this harder or easier on myself. Teresa, go drink some water. I should have mapped a route. I've just done one kilometer loops because I don't know where I'm going. And there's pedestrians. Is this excuse number four? Yes. I thought I was doing good. <sighs> I'm not taking a break because I'm lazy. I'm charitable. Water break number four. Not just water, especially for my athletes. Electrolytes, you all know how obsessed I am. Because the worst thing to happen in the fitness industry was the anti-salt movement. Oh, my back though. I was faded, now I feel good. First casualty of this race. Blood warning, three, two, one. Whoa! I honestly have no idea what that's from. 
red light. After getting dizzy from doing loops around city blocks, I decided to do a 10 kilometer loop around Stanley Park. This is where things got weird. I did one loop around and I was cruising. Looked down at my watch, five kilometers had only gone past. Then I did a second loop, which should have been 20 kilometers done. It said 10 kilometers. Third loop should have been 30 kilometers. It said only 15. Yet I'd been biking for an hour and a half, which is how long I thought 40 kilometers would take me. Yet I'd only gone halfway through. This is when I decided to stop looping around Stanley Park. One kilometer left. So normally you do it at a transition station, but uh, I can't just leave my bike anywhere downtown. Uh, so my transition statement is in my apartment. Now we go run. Take a bath and break. 3K done. 4K. I've never run so slow in my life. Okay, this might be the most mentally tough challenge I've ever done. My legs are dead. I just keep saying, one more step. One more step is one less step. That's all I'm thinking about. Just the next step. Okay, 5K, halfway through. The villain in this story is back. Win. 6K, done. Last four. I have 48 minutes for this run and only 7.2K. That was how fast I usually run a 10K. Oh, my lungs are fine. It's like my upper body is sore from the bike. Going like this, that's the hardest part. This is all tight. Last I should flip around and go that way to the Starbucks and you bet your ass I'm gonna get myself a pumpkin spice latte. I don't care, it's basic. It's what I want. It's all I want. It's all I deserve. It is my, well, I can't even think of a trophy. It's my gold medal. It's my Wimbledon. I'm telling myself. My legs, I don't, I can't feel my legs. I live here now. This is a level of exhaustion my legs have never understood. Oh my god. Oh. I would, I would think of something funny, but my humor has left my body. So, update. Research Kelty put on her thinking goggles and it turns out the loop around Stanley Park is 10 kilometers. I do not know, does anyone understand this, that my Apple Watch would only read five kilometers every time I did 10, so we did the math, I actually did 60 kilometers. Is this excuses for my time? Yes, no. The Apple Watch just wanted me to give to charity. So it was just over $500, will be donated to charity. This was fun. Next summer, I will be doing a full Olympic triathlon myself and I'm training towards it in one day. I think in two years in Ironman. So this is kind of like a nice little baseline, but I screwed up my hip on the last kilometer. I had this incident with 
without getting into it. Do not do this. In anything, you should progressive over time. You need to build up volume. Don't go zero to 100. This was dumb, but was it dumb or was it charitable? You make the decision. <laughs> um, I survived. I'm still here, just in pain. If you guys are, want me to try something else like this, let me know. Hit subscribe. Throw this video a thumbs up. And most importantly, have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you guys. Bye.